chain. Well, they weren't the bother of getting up to pet the daisy.
to the fern. That was a narrow escape. Might have gone out like a candle. But things the worst are worse than ever. <laughs>
said, who are you? I don't really know, sir. Just a present. Explain yourself. I can't really explain myself, because I'm not myself, you see? I don't see. It's just that changing so much. One day seems confusing. Well, it's not. I should think when you have to fell into a chrysalis, and then to a catalyst, and then to a butterfly, that would feel strange. Not a bit. Anyway, who are you? I think you ought to tell me who you are first. Why? Come back. I've something important to say. Keep your temper. Isn't that all? No. You've changed, have you? I'm afraid I have. I can't stay the same size for ten minutes. You're a very good height now. I don't like changing so often. I'm not used to it. And I can't remember things. Repeat the poem, you're our own fellow William. Do. 
I don't know any of it, do you? You don't know much, and that's bad. Oh. It's my much of Jimmy. Oh, 
high, like a tea tray in the sky. Twinkle, 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 twinkle. Thing. 
And the moral of that is, take care of the fence and the sand to take care of themselves. How fond you are of finding morals in things. Everything's got a moral, if only you could find it. Did you know that flamingos and mustard both bite? And the moral of that is, birds with feather flock together. But the mustard isn't a bird. Right again. And the moral of that is, find there your majesty. Now I give you fair warning. I can draw your head must be off. And that's in less than half the time. Take your choice. <laughs> I mean what I say. 
Would you like to try to sing me another song, or shall we do a dance? Oh, a song, please. Hmm, no, I can't even taste. Sing a try to sing me, old fellow. <laughs>
If that's all you know about it, you may stand down. I can't go no lower. I'm on the floor of the plane. You may sit down. I want to You may go. And just take his head off outside. Call <laughs> the next witness. Next witness. <laughs> the Duchess is cooked. <laughs> Give your evidence. Shot. Sure. Your Majesty must cross the damage witness. Well, if I must, I must. What are tarts made of? Cover that dormouse! Behave that dormouse! <laughs> Off with it, Christian! Off with it! <laughs> <laughs> this quite makes my head ache. Consider your verdict. If you please, Your Majesty, this letter has just been picked up. It seems to be something written by the prisoner to, to someone. No, it's a set of verses. These are the two ideas, that only makes the matter worse. You must have made some mystery, or else you've signed your name at the end like an honest man. <coughs> that proves that he's guilty. So all for me, it doesn't prove anything of the sort. Well, you say you need to know what they're about. Read them. Where shall I begin, did you Majesty? Begin at the beginning, and go on until you come to the end, and then stop.
They're walking about. <laughs> now I do feel strange. What am I to do? <coughs> Speak when you're supposed to. Walk the other way. Where did you come from? Look up. Speak nicely and don't twiddle your fingers all the time. <coughs> I've lost my way. I don't know what you mean about your way. All the ways back here belong to me. Why did you come out here at all? Curious why you're thinking. It saves time. Open your mouth a little wider <laughs> if you speak and always say your majesty. I only wanted to see what the garden was like. That's right. The way you say gardens, I could show you gardens compared with it you call this a wilderness. I thought I'd try and find my way to the top of that hill. I could show you hills in comparison with you call that a valley. A hill can't be a valley, you know. That would be nonsense. I am her nonsense. Compared with which, that would be a sensible <coughs> dictionary. I declare it's marked out of a large chessboard. Oh, how I wish I were one of the chessmen. You can be one of the white queen's pawns if you like. And then when you get to the eighth square, you'll be a queen. <coughs>
get to my birthday present. And only one for birthday presents. There's glory for you. I don't know what you mean by glory. I mean there's a nice down-to-earth argument. But glory doesn't mean nice down-to-earth argument. When I use a word, it means exactly what I want it to mean. No more, no less. Goodbye. Goodbye till we meet again. I shouldn't know you again even if we did meet. You're so exactly like other people. Now, if you had two eyes inside of the nose, for instance, that would be a tell. It wouldn't be nice at all. Goodbye. Goodbye. Gunpowder and sea Gunpowder? Sea Yeah! You're sad. Let me tell you a 
poem. Is it a very long one? Not very, but it's very, very beautiful. Everybody that hears me say it, it either brings tears into their eyes, or else, for us, what? First, it doesn't. The name of the poem is had its eyes. I tell thee everything I can, there's little to relate. I saw an aged, aged man, a sitting on a gate. He said I look for butterflies that sleep among the wheat. I make them into mutton pies and sell them in the street. He said I hope I had its eyes among the heather bright. I work them into waistcoat buttons in the silent night. And that's the way he gave a wink by which I get my woe. And very gladly will I drink your honour's noble health. I thanked him much for telling me the way he, he got his well, but chiefly for his wish that he might drink my noble health. And then I fair by chance, I tried, I put my finger into glue, or tried to squeeze a right hand foot into a left hand shoe, or if I draw upon my toe a very heavy weight, I weep for it reminds me so, that old man I used to know, a summer evening long ago, was sitting on a gate. You've only a few yards to go, then you'll be a queen. Wait and wave when I get to that bend in the corner. I think it will be encouraging, you see. Thank you for the poem. <coughs> well, you didn't cry as much as I thought you would.
I would like to present a bouquet to Marion. She worked very hard with the rehearsal. And I would like to thank all my committee because they have worked very hard. So I would like Mrs. E. Worth to come out, please, Eileen.